Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's look. Let's start looking here at section 2.3. We have three functions we're given, and the first set of directions asks us to find g composed with f of negative 2. Now, when you're doing the operation of composition, negative 2 is first going to get put into function f, and then that answer is going to get put into g. That's the way composition is defined. So we're going to find f of negative 2 first, and then that answer is going to get put into g. So I don't start with function g. I let it alone right now. And to find f of negative 2, I go up to function f, and on, over here, which is the y value, I plug in negative 2. So I have 3 times negative 2 plus 2, and that is negative 6 plus 2, which is a negative 4. So, to finish the problem, okay, so in other words, to start it, I found f of negative 2, f of negative 2 became negative 4. Now what I do is I take the number negative 4 and I plug it into function g. g takes anything and squares it minus 2 times anything minus 6. In other words, when I say anything, this x is replaced with what you're plugging in. So, this would become negative 4 quantity squared minus 2 times negative 4 minus 6. Okay? Because look what g of x did. Input squared minus 2 times the input minus 6. Okay? So, negative 4 quantity squared minus 2 times negative 4 minus 6. So we get 16 plus 8 minus 6. Okay, and 24 minus 6. Okay, so this is, this is going to become 24 minus 6 is going to give me the answer. Oops, 18. So my final answer is 1, 8, the number 18. So negative 4 is not your answer. Negative 4 is what you got out of f to plug into g to get your final answer. So the answer to our first question is 18. Now let's try this part. h of g of 1. Well, if I'm composing two functions, 1 first goes into g. So we find g of 1, and then that answer gets plugged into h. So leave h alone for a minute, g of 1. We go back to function g, and every place I see an x, I put in a 1. So I have 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 6 that becomes 1 minus 2 minus 6 and let's see this is going to give me a negative 7 now what I do okay these are all equal now what I do is I finish the problem by going to function h and plugging in a negative 7. h of x is, in this case, whatever, cubed. So negative 7 raised to the third power, and I believe that's going to be a negative 343. And that is our answer to the second question. H composed with G of 1 
is negative 343. And we're done.